The internet computer is an extension of the internet. Today, the internet is created by a protocol called IP that combines thousands of private networks into a single virtual public network that we all know and love. There are lots of entrepreneurs and investors that want to build interesting new services. The problem is, oftentimes, those interesting new internet services would depend upon content and functionality and user data that exists inside of proprietary services owned and controlled by big tech. The internet computer is a complete alternative IT stack and we want it to become the main way that people build and host software systems and internet services in the future. It's formed by a secure protocol run by independent data centers that lend computing capacity to create this giant public virtual computer. This is important because even a hacker can't make 2 plus 2 equals 5. And that contrasts very strongly to a traditional technology infrastructure, which is composed of databases and middleware servers and web servers. The internet computer brings four huge advantages. Firstly, you're building on the internet rather than some proprietary platform where you will quickly become a captive customer of numerous vendors. Secondly, it's created by a secure protocol. That means that the internet computer itself is tamper-proof and also that you too can build secure tamper-proof systems on top. When you break costs down, you find that the vast majority of IT costs are in operations. 90% of their time is spent dealing with complexity. Thirdly, the internet computer reimagines software itself and greatly simplifies the process of building systems, maintaining systems, enabling organizations to be more nimble, spend their time focusing on creating great user experiences and being faster to market and so on. Fourthly, the internet computer addresses the problems of monopolization. It introduces a new kind of software called autonomous software that makes it possible to build open internet service that can guarantee access to functionality via APIs to other services in perpetuity. And this addresses perhaps the biggest problem in the world of tech startups today, which is called platform risk. The internet computer provides a seamless universe for software. And within the internet computer, there's no notion of distribution. We have something called a software canister model. A canister is a bundling of software and its associated state. As a developer, you will create one or more canisters and upload them into this seamless universe. And given sufficient permissions, they can call into the functions of any other canister on the internet computer with a new language called Motoko that was developed here at Definity that provides developers a way of leveraging the internet computer in the easiest way possible.